luck, guys. Uh, Austin and uh, Austin's back. And uh, it's Nordic Fuckboy. And it's uh, Chips and Guac Ken. No, it's Nordic Fuckboy. I did actually and unironically. I did unironically call Ken a Norse fuckboy a couple days ago. It was Nordic, you fucking asshole. Was it? Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure. I thought it was Norse. Mm. Oh well. Yeah. Well, we've got a mission, mm -hmm. and we've got sort of the means, but I need to get the power back on. Ken knows how, but I'm gonna fuck around for a little bit if I can't figure it out. Yeah. I think you can figure it out. You're a smart boy. Oh my god. God, there's so much fucking lime in these chips and guac, and it's beautiful. Lime is a great little fruit. Mm -hmm. I actually named both of my testicles lime. Why didn't you name one lime and one lemon? I mean, I feel like that would be the... Because they're the same fucking size. Okay. <laughs> but limes and lemons are often of similar size. Incorrect. You see, Limit, you limes are smaller. You weren't thinking. I'm doing the thinking here. <laughs> I mean, you are the... Is that a shipper pole? Be whatever you want it to be, baby, for ten bucks. So it's definitely a super. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is a fuck ton of lime. Holy shit! Are you talking about like the fruit or your testicles? Both. Wow. Yeah. Here, hold on. Let's try this. All right. It is very limey. Wow, it is. Right? Like it's nice, but like it kind of burns your throat after a while. Wow. <clears throat> All right, this is gonna be the episode where my vocal cords just fucking erode. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Erode my enamel, baby. Yes, please. <laughs> Hi, this is Ken, and I've got a, a, a teeth fetish. What? How? How? I don't know. How did that pop up? <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh. Do you have to like like? I I didn't actually read this far into it. Do you have to like turn the? I don't think we have mm. information for this yet. Mm -mm. Alright, can't give me a hint. Okay. Get this power backing up. Back up and running. See, hold on, I'm still looking at Morse food. Morse food. Morse food. <laughs> Morse chode. <coughs> that's, that's what I call it when I use my penis. That's, I wish you would. Because my penis is in Morse code. Generator manual. I do. Alright. That's all I'm gonna do. Alright. Alright, so I need to go back to the power room and we'll mm -hmm. just follow them step by step by step by step. Mm -hmm. Get some bunny hopping going. Oh my god, I'll just up playing Overwatch. I'm a pro Counter Strike player. <laughs> yeah, if you hop, the dog can't see you. I strongly doubt that. I don't know. Just because Austin's a fucking hater to me, I am. I believe in you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm. Step one. Ensure the area surrounding the 7G is clear of equipment and personnel. Mm -hmm. Alright. Wow. Let's get this weak shit out of here. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I don't... Well, um... Actually, try hitting that with your, like, your pickaxe or something. See if there's something in there. I don't actually know. I just read enough to like, give you a hint. I think it has a lid, but I can't open the lid. No, I don't think so. It said it's welded shut. Uh, oh, I bet I can. Oh, maybe I. Oh, there's nowhere, nowhere to get it through. Oh, <laughs> I know what I have to do. Hmm. We gotta push it down. Yeah, and then I gotta go down there. Well, I mean... Okay. We can see if that's the right answer. I'm ready to die horribly. <laughs> Is there nothing down here? Oh, 
Ah, a battery. Oh, because it broke the... Yeah, it broke the box. Ah, okay. A battery bootery. Mm. Alright. So I have ensured that the uh, surrounding area has been cleared. Yes, yes. Connected, confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Yep. It's that way? It's probably gonna be open like this. Um turn on cooling system. Oh, you might have to put in the battery first. I think I think the battery goes in there, maybe. Industrial fuses. Um look on the side. I think I saw something on the side. Maybe. Ah, it's not good here. Check the manual. Because the manual's got it all laid out. Ah. Nice. Now I've got to find a fuse. I do remember what the fuse is there. I'm surprised I couldn't take one though. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I broke a chip. Fuses. Maybe you have to pick it up and drop it down. Oh, you can't even pick it up. No. Mm. Nice. Um, Maybe. Is there another room with like power and stuff like that? Not that I've found so far. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's not gonna be a pair. Mm -hmm. I think I'll go check the generator room again. Yeah, that's a good idea. They probably have some fuses down there anyway. Austin, do you know what would happen if you put fuses on my nipples? Um, what about like directly into my belly button? I was thinking more of like a car starter. Really? Yeah, on your nipples. I actually have one. You want to try it? Um, <coughs> can you do it on the video, like on stream? Oh my god, yes. You've got another 16 that, minutes in the episode. Would that be a cry of pleasure or pain? At this point, they're just kind of noodled for me. Mm. <laughs> That's the saddest fucking fuse. Um. Man, it really seems like there should be fuses around here somewhere. What? What? Are you saying there are? No, no. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I, I told you, I only read enough to give you a hint. I don't I don't know what's coming out. Mm. I love our gum jars. Mm. Daddy, yes. I'm gonna go back down. Mm. Filled up with fucking disgusting <laughs> shit. Again, after playing Condemned Criminal Origins, ladders always give me the creeps. Well, thank you for making a reference that I have never understood. It's just in that game you frequently like climb the ladder and you like, pop through something at the top. Ah, okay. Dead Space does that a lot too. All right, all right, come on, buddy. You got this. Let's go over. Go over oh, faster. Uh huh. Really? Just mm -hmm. go, just go oh, yeah. Uh huh. Just come on, man. You, you can do it. What if I already have the fuse? If you did, I'm gonna be fucking angry at you. Nah, you don't have the fuse. Okay. Um. Where else could you get them? Mm. Maybe there's something <clears throat> high that I have to poke with my broom. Uh, 
like something high up. Yeah, honestly, I'd say go back to that fuse box room. To the fuse room. Yeah. Mm. Because I see the fuse box, I just yeah. can't interact with it at all. I feel, again, I feel like there should be some way to break it. Yeah. But there's no way to, like, pick it up. Hmm. This episode is Sleepy Puzzle Solving by Ken and Austin. Hmm, well. Still, the contents can't be far away. Oh, okay. Fill me up with your fuses, Daddy. Always and ever. <laughs> Uh, oh, maybe they're... Oh, oh shit! my god. You son of a fucking sneaky bitch. Hmm, oh, yeah. and then I use the broom to get that. All of right. course you do. <laughs> the broom just pops up. Here, no, I think you gotta do the... Oh, does it not have that function? Uh, jump and swipe? Oh, you gotta use the boxes. See, now I'm thinking with boxes. Yeah, see, I can make outdated, shitty video game references too, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm so bitter. <laughs> the way you, you, actually, the you, way you said that makes it sound like Portal is a bad game. Yeah, right? It's almost like I think Portal is a bad game. So, is there something you want to let everyone know? Not explicitly. <laughs> Full disclaimer, if anyone talks shit about Portal, I will kill them. Actually, I actually do love Portal. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I actually love Portal. I, I, I had so many good experiences with, with Portal, too. Yeah. Um, we played the co-op, remember that? We did, yeah. I remember you, you started fucking shitposting all over the place, and you were, like, enabled God mode. Yeah. <laughs> started summoning a bunch of bullshit. Um, that was a long-ass time ago. Yeah, that would have been 2015 or 16, I think. It would have been earlier than that. I was still in high school. Yeah? Huh. Okay, so I do need to follow the directions like to the I fucking told you. Alright. Mm. Secondary flow. Cooling system. Mm -hmm. Steam. Mm -hmm. Grease. Mm -hmm. Main. Right. So secondary, secondary flow. Cooling. Actually, I think cooling might be this one. Um, yes. Yeah, try that one. Yeah, this would be cooling. Okay. This is steam. Mm -hmm. This is grease. Mm -hmm. and this is primary. Also, what kind of generator has a grease flow? Did it work? Nope. Ew. Hmm. Let me just switch the grease and the steam. Okay. I cannot imagine anything more disgusting than a grease flow. Yeah. Ah. Well, I worked at a Fud Rucker, so I've got a pretty good idea of what a grease flow looks like. <laughs> yeah, now you have to have deep fryers at, at Fud Ruckers, right? Oh, yeah. Ugh. I actually enjoyed cleaning, like, the filter, but I, really? I was not responsible for cleaning the fryer itself. And God, right. yeah. Thank God I didn't have to. Mm -hmm. Did it work? No. Damn. You had it right the first time, I'm pretty sure. I don't sure. think I did it. Yeah, because it would have shorted, shorted out the fuse. Secondary. Okay. Okay, so cool, cooling. Mm hmm. Steam. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> cooling, steam, grease, steam. Okay. So let's operate under this being cooling. Yeah. This being steam. Because that being grease. Which I don't agree with. No. And then main. <clears throat> yes? Come on. You want, me to, you want me to give you a hint? Yeah, but is it going to tell you what the symbols are? Um, probably. Cooling. Let's try this for cooling. Okay. Um, horizontal waves is cooling. Uh, the drop is grease. Alright, I figured it out. Yeah. That's what I was just trying, okay. <laughs> trying as you were speaking. Very serendipitous. Alright, here we go. Now I guess right here. Mm. Oh, fuck. Well, let there be light mm. on the next episode of uh, uh, Learning to Cope. In the next sleepy episode of Learning to Cope Penumbra, um, it's 
sponsored by and hosted by God. AGB Chips and Guac. What? What? <laughs> Let there be light and also my penis.